What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now, Jared Goff has been a very decisive player over his career with the Detroit Lions. Ever since he was traded to the Detroit Lions two seasons ago, there has been a debate of whether Jared Goff is the future, whether Jared Goff is a bridge quarterback, whether Jared Goff is a placeholder until they can get somebody better, how long Jared Goff's gonna be here, what his tenure is gonna look like, all the different scenarios have gone through and been discussed by Detroit Lions fans. And after really about two years to really see Jared Goff in action, I think we can safely say what Jared Goff is, where he's going to be, and how the Lions are going to move forward with the QB1 position. So starting off with Jared Goff. Jared Goff is a quarterback that has always been very good in the NFL. He's always had the talent. He's always had the arm. He's always had the size. He's always had really the durability, despite maybe a couple missed games last season. He is what you would think of as a prototypical NFL quarterback. And really, Jared Goff, despite not really having a great season a year ago, this season came in and has played phenomenally and is maybe the quietest, best quarterback in the NFL. Jared Goff is top 10 in numerous passing situations and or is top 10 in numerous passing statistics and is statistically a top 7 to 10 quarterback in the NFL this season, passing for just under 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns, and seven interceptions with two games remaining on his NFL schedule. Jared Goff has thrown for 4,000 yards a few times in his NFL career, but hasn't done so since 2018, as well as his 26 passing touchdowns being at the moment the second most of a season in his NFL career, while having seven interceptions, which is tied for the fewest interceptions in his career as an NFL starting quarterback. Now, on top of that, Jared Goff's Jared Goff's yards per attempt are the highest it has been since 2018 when he was legitimately in the MVP conversation. And a lot of people are gonna say, okay, but numbers don't tell the full story and point to one player or another. But really it's hammered home by the fact the Lions are a top five scoring offense under Jared Goff and they are seven and eight while being in the playoff hunt with Jared Goff under center. That cannot be understated enough. That could not be said enough to make it worthwhile, the Lions are in the playoff hunt with a top five scoring offense with Jared Goff under center. Now, you're going to have some people say, oh, but it's all Ben Johnson, or oh, it's the weapons, it's St. Brown, it's the offensive line, it's DJ Chark, it's, you know, this guy or that guy making plays, but it really is isn't. And yes, Jared Goff's had some bad moments this year, right? The underthrown ball to Chark on Thanksgiving is one that you can point to and say, okay, that throw needs to be made next year. That throw needs to be made in a big situation if you want to be a long-term franchise quarterback in the NFL, right? You can point to the Jets game where Jamison Williams had, you know, beaten the defense over the top and Jared had just underthrown the ball to Jamison Williams. That would have been a 50-yard touchdown. Not because he didn't have the accuracy, but more because of a chemistry issue, right? Didn't really hasn't thrown to Jameson Williams a lot, doesn't really know his top speed, doesn't know if he can go chase down that ball, right? It was more of a chemistry issue than an arm strength issue because I've seen Jared Goff throw a ball farther than that with a clean pocket, right? There are plays you can point to and say, okay, that guy is not necessarily a, you know, top five quarterback. That guy can't make every throw in the book. But at the end of the day, Jared Goff is the perfect quarterback for the Lions offense right now. And yeah, they're built around Jared Goff and they are built to really elevate any quarterback under center. But that doesn't mean we can take away from the success that Jared Goff has had. Jared Goff's running backs since week nine have both. And I think actually all three, including Justin Jackson, have averaged under three yards per carry, meaning the running game really hasn't been there like a lot of people are saying that it is and like it was very early in the season. While he has had to deal with injuries to Amon St. Brown, TJ Hawkinson, DJ Chark, Jameson Williams, Josh Reynolds, Quintez Cephas, and Khalif Raymond, who have all been his top targets and all had the time to build chemistry with Jared Goff over the last year and a half. So Jared Goff has succeeded in Detroit. Jared Goff has succeeded despite offensive line injuries, despite injuries to his weapons and his closest guys on the offensive side of the ball, despite the running game not really being there over the last month, month and a half. And Jared Goff is still succeeding. And yes, Ben Johnson is a huge part of that, but we cannot understate how valuable Jared Goff is to this offense because without Jared Goff, I don't know if the Lions are a 7-8 to eight win team. If we have a guy like Kirk Cousins, if we have a guy like, you know, Geno Smith, even guys that are playing very good football, 
I don't know if the Lions are in the same playoff situation because Jared Goff has done everything to keep this Lions team alive. When they were 1-6, Jared Goff pulled that Lions offense up, right? When the Lions were struggling on offense, Jared Goff was part of the reason they were able to sustain success and find success. And really in this winning streak, it's been on the arm of Jared Goff. It hasn't been on the legs of Jamal Williams. It hasn't been on the legs of DeAndre Swift. It has been Jared Goff and Ben Johnson really pulling this offense through thick and thin and putting them in situations to win the football game. So Jared Goff, might not be the long-term quarterback. Jared Goff might not be the, you know, end-all, be-all, decade quarterback. But Jared Goff is not going anywhere anytime soon. He has this year and next year left on his contract. And Jared Goff's not going anywhere. Jared Goff's under contract through 2024. He is going to be the quarterback at least until the end of 2023, if not play out his entire contract in 2024. And whether you like it or not, Jared Goff is a great quarterback playing at a top 10 level and leading a top five offense in the NFL. So with all that being said, as I got for you guys today, let me know your opinions on Jared Goff. Do you think he can be the long-term answer? Do you think he is a bridge quarterback? How do you view Jared Goff as the quarterback one of the Detroit Lions? And how do you view the quarterback one position for the Detroit Lions? I'd be very curious what you guys think and what you guys have to say. But with all that being said, that is all for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions.